Hi, my name is Pierre. I'm a sales engineer with Actuate, currently based in Paris. I'm going to take you through a short demo. In this demo, we will see how we can connect to a plain old Java object to retrieve data for a BERT report by using the Actuate POJO data source. As you will see, this is a very flexible way of getting data. In our example, we will use a scenario where we get stock price data through a Java object. In BERT Designer Pro, I have a Java project that has the classes that provide the data. I set the perspective to Java. The project has currently three classes. Stock data is the class that contains the data structure. This would be fields such as ticker, date, open, and close price as well as getter and setter methods for each field. Stock dataset is a helper class that will create a list of records. For the demo, we generate randomly a month of data for one stock. Of course, this is where your implementation will mainly differ. The last class, POJO example, is the class that specifies how to retrieve the data. This class is the link between BERT and the data classes. It must implement the open, next, and close methods. The method open creates the record set as a list and instantiates an iterator on that list. The method next uses the iterator to navigate the list. These three classes are sufficient to run a quick demo. The last step is to create a jar file of that project and save it in my BERT project. Going now to the report design perspective, I create a new report in my project. In the data source selector, I choose actuate POJO data source. Here, I must point to the jar file that contains the relevant Java classes. Because the jar is in my project, I choose relative path and select pojo.jar. Because the jar file is the same for runtime and design, I select the same jar for design time. Once this is done, I can create the data set. I'll select the data set class name from the list of relevant classes in the jar file. I have only one to choose from. Remember, this is the class that has the three methods described a moment ago, open, next, and close. The next step is to map the columns. This time I choose the class that describes the data structure, stock data. The dialog will display a list of all the get methods in that class. I can select the fields I need from the list and move them to the column mapping display. I now have a data set I can use in my report. I can also pass parameters to a Java object. First, I add a parameter to the dataset. This parameter will have a default value of ABC. Then, I go back to the Java perspective and edit POJO example. Notice that the open method has two parameters, the last one being a map object. This object will receive a list of all parameters defined in the BERT dataset. I'll replace the hard-coded ticker value with the value passed by the dataset parameter by getting the value for the key param1. I save and republish the new jar file to the project. After switching back to the report design perspective, I can rerun the report and see the value for my parameter. I hope you enjoyed that quick demo and please don't forget to visit birdexchange.org for more information.